everyone. Welcome to our cooking TV. My name is uh, Dani Miranda and I work with the Growth to Development on behalf of Growth. And if you haven't uh, already subscribed to our channel or maybe you're new to our channel, we share content that can help you build your capacity in terms of monitoring and evaluation, business development, marketing, branding, but also career development. And today we are going to be starting on a new series trying to understand monitoring and evaluation and, uh, and their different aspects. But then to begin with, probably we might want to understand a monitoring and evaluation system. When we're talking about a monitoring and evaluation system, what is it? And what are the important components that have to be in every other monitoring and evaluation system? So an m and system, you can think of an m and system as a management function that helps uh, the organization to achieve all the intended objectives of that particular organization. That is at a strategic level, at a programmatic level, but also at the operational level. And so within the M&D system, there are so many other important components that have to be available uh, for the proper functioning of the M&E for that particular organization. And so let's go straight into it and look at these important components that each and every organization has to have for the proper functioning of their M&E system. But also maybe before we go further into it, most importantly, let's assume that you, ha you have been employed by a certain particular organization. When you go into that particular organization, one of the major things uh, that uh, you have to do is to look at the M&E system and try to understand where it, or how it is. What are the things that are lacking? How can you better improve it? So that will be the base of you doing your work as a, a monitoring and evaluation officer. The number one important component of every other uh, M&E system is uh, organization structure with M&E functions. So each and every other organization is supposed to have uh, M&E uh, people within the organization structure. For instance, if you look at the most uh, uh, NGOs, they would have uh, the executive director, the program manager, and then they would also have the finance and administrative uh, manager. And then uh, after that, they will have pro project uh, officers. One of the most important components within the structure, you'll find out that it is a monitoring and evaluation officer. So each and every organization has to have that as part of their M&E system. And those roles of uh, the M&E people have to be properly defined and also they have to have adequate support from upper hierarchy. Now then, what is the other second important component of every other M&E system? Human capacity for monitoring and evaluation. So this emphasizes the need for each and every other organization to have M&E staff that have adequate knowledge when it comes to monitoring and evaluation for them to effectively implement the, their M&E duties, right? So if you want to uh, be hired one day as an M&E officer, it is a must that you have to be good uh, in terms of monitoring and evaluation. And that's why we are sharing this uh, video. So organizations will always uh, ensure that they employ people who are qualified, but also who, 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 are, who are experienced. Not only that, uh, each and every other organization has to make sure that there is continuous capacity building when it comes to monitoring and evaluation so that the M&D people uh, they remain relevant to changing trends. Now, coming to the third uh, important component for an M&D system is participatory monitoring and evaluation or partnership for uh, planning, coordinating and also managing the M&E system. Now, this is an important prerequisite for every other organization because it ensures that uh, you are moving together with all relevant stakeholders when it comes to uh, M&E activities. And it is a must that you involve the uh, different kind of stakeholders because uh, they are there uh, to complement uh, your organization efforts when it comes to monitoring and evaluation. So you need to partner with the project participants how monitoring and evaluation is going to be happening, how they are going to be involved, but also other, stake, other important stakeholders like the government, when will they come in? So this partnership is uh, an important uh, source of verification 
whenever it comes to uh, different issues concerning monitoring and overall. Well, now, the uh, fourth uh, important component of an m and system is uh, an m and framework or a logical framework. Now, you might have read about a logical framework or it's otherwise referred to a 4x4 four four matrix. What is it? So, an m and framework or a logical framework outlines uh, the project's uh, inputs, activities, outputs, outcome, and impact with their the indicators that will be used to measure all of those. But also it outlines the assumptions that the m and system is going to adopt. So essentially what it is, it's a roadmap of how change is going to happen. Mm -hmm. How Now coming to the fifth important component of an m and system, you have uh, an m and plan. So what is an m and work plan? An m and work plan is simply a document that mm, outlines how the resources that have been assigned for M and D functions are going to be utilized. So, what are these resources? You're talking about uh, personnel. You're talking about mm, ma materials. You're talking about finances. You're talking about money, right? So, who is going to be responsible for what? When is it going to be happening? Uh, how much money is going to be mm, needed? So, this is your guide. For example, as the, an M and D officer, in terms of uh, how you're going to go about your work on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. And then coming to our sixth uh, important component of an M&D system is the uh, communication, advocacy, and culture for M&E. And so this emphasizes the need for each and every other organization to develop policies and the strategies that will support M&E functions within that particular organization. Now, why is this so? Uh, it's because when you consider or when you look at monitoring and evaluation, it's not something that is uh, only supposed to be done by M and E staff, right? So everybody is uh, supposed to be involved when it uh, when it comes to monitoring and evaluating interventions. Whether it be uh, the accounts people, you are supposed to uh, be in a position to collaborate with them. Now, unless the culture for M and E is entrenched within everybody within the organization, then you are going to have a problem. So uh, possibly you might want to uh, develop uh, M and E policies. And uh, these M&D policies, they can help you uh, in that respect. Coming to the other uh, important component of an M&D system is uh, a database. Now, why is a database important? You see, uh, monitoring and evaluation is there to help organizations make better decisions. And you cannot make uh, better decisions unless you have uh, data. Yeah. And so it is very paramount that each and every organization is able to collect that data and have a database, right, where all of that data is uh, being stored. So, for instance, at the grassroots uh, level there, uh, the organization might want to develop data forms uh, that can be used to collect uh, a different kind of data, like, for instance, uh, data concerning uh, materials that are given to beneficiaries, data concerning um, the people that are being trained for different kind of uh, interventions or maybe different kind of uh, technologies. And so and so that's how you can collect data at the grassroots uh, level. And then when you come in, for example, uh, back at your office as the M&D officer, you need to uh, compile all, all of that data and put it in one place so that you can easily able to share it to other people, but also you can be easily, easily be able to analyze that uh, particular data. And in today's world, uh, because of the advancement in technology, you might want to have uh, a web-based uh, database like, for instance, a management information system where you store all information that you have collected at uh, your particular organization. So, different kind of organization, you will discover that they uh, uh, listen, you will discover that they will they want to hire consultants, uh, IT consultants, uh, to come and then develop a management information system where data can be stored and shared uh, elsewhere. Some you can utilize open access software online a different kind of uh, 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 so different kind of M and E software that is there online, which can help you uh, to store and keep your data in one place. But also Google Sheets are an important tool that you can be able to use. But also not forgetting Excel and also uh, coming to the number eight important component of an M and E system is uh, routine project or program monitoring. What is uh, project monitoring, and why is this important? Uh, well, and why is this an important part of the M and E system? So monitoring is the 
the process of keeping watch on the progress of the project activities to see whether you're on track. So during monitoring of the interventions, this is also, the, uh, this is also an important time whereby you collect relevant data, right? We talked about a database and having uh, 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 data. How can you be able to collect the data unless you go out there and you monitor the interventions? At the time that you're going to be monitoring the interventions, this is also a very important time where you are going to be collecting uh, relevant data. So for proper functioning of each and every other M and D system, it is paramount that there should be routine program or project monitoring. Uh, therefore, the M&D officer needs to make deliberate of efforts and time when they're going to be monitoring, right? So, mm, uh, uh, for example, the M&D officer might be required to go out there for monitoring uh, on a monthly basis, the project officer also the same, but however, you find out that the, uh, the field officer might have to go more frequently to monitor interventions, maybe on a, on a, on a, maybe on a day to day basis, and uh, coming to the pro program manager once in a while, maybe quarterly or semi annually, and that also applies to the executive director. But all in all, monitoring is the, an important component. And the other important uh, component of an MD system is the supportive uh, supervision and the data auditing. And so, you see, each and every other organization, it's a must that they need to be supervised by somebody external in terms of how MD is being done. Because by their own, maybe they might not be in a position uh, to check where things are not uh, happening properly. So I remember uh, the other time when I was working as the uh, M&D officer of a certain organization, soon as I started working, after three months, after I had submitted uh, several reports, but also data forms, I recall the M&D specialists from a donor company came to our organization to supervise our M&D uh, activities. So as to see how authentic is it, the data, how do we collect it, and how is it channeled from one level to the other, so that they can be confident with the data that we had been sending to them. So supervision and the data auditing is very, very important and necessary for each and every other M&E system. So now the other crucial aspect of an M&E system is uh, project evaluation and the research. Why is the project evaluation important? See, project evaluation is there to assess whether uh, the project that you had implemented has had impact or whether it has uh, made a difference in people's lives or not. And so different kind of organizations, they will do conduct uh, evaluations at different timelines. Some they do evaluations at the mid, at the mid term, called the mid term evaluation some conduct the evaluations at the end of the project, after the closure of the project, where, whereas others, they conduct what is called as the ex post evaluation. This is the evaluation of a project after the project has closed out and the several other years have passed, right? So as to see whether indeed the interventions were sustainable over a long period of time or not. And so project evaluation, some organizations, they prefer that they do these evaluations on their own, but you know, when it, whenever it comes to evaluating a project, there has to be somebody external so that they can have a, an unbiased view concerning how things are happening on the ground. Because if you evaluate yourself, you might sometimes be biased. So uh, an external consultant might help in that respect, whereby they come in and they try to assess and then tell you in terms of how you have conducted yourself throughout the project timeline and whether indeed you have had impact whether the project was relevant, whether it was efficient, and the, uh, whether it was the, uh, sustainable. Uh, now, the other important thing that needs to be adhered to for the proper functioning of the M&D system is the data use and the dissemination. When, when, whenever you have collected the data, you need to be in a position to use that particular data. Not only use it, but also uh, disseminate it to the different stakeholders for transparency, so that people they should be in a position to know what it is that you're doing on the ground. Uh, and finally, the other thing that I can suggest that should be in every other M&D system is a complaint and feedback mechanism. So what is a complaint and feedback me mechanism? So this enables that the ca different kind of anonymous complaints are, are collected, but also they are resolved. For instance, you might have an issue, see, 
the project beneficiaries, they are not happy in terms of the conduct of a certain project in a staff. If they voice out, they might, uh, they might lose out on some other resources or maybe other kind of uh, privileges. So, so guys, that is it about uh, today's video. We have introduced uh, the concept of monitoring and evaluation, and we started by looking at the, an M&A &E system, different components, important components of an M&A &E system. And continuation with this series, we are now going to be diving deep and uh, trying to understand each and every other M&A &E component on its own. For example, what is monitoring? What are some of the best practices of monitoring? What are some of the monitoring tools that you can use? And then we'll also be looking at evaluation in detail, how you can conduct a project evaluation, what is the logical framework, uh, trying to understand it, indicators, management information systems, and so on and so forth. So uh, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you, that you don't miss out on anything, uh, but also leave comments, uh, like, and also share our video. Thank you. See you next time.